Now, full disclosure, I don't know how to start this video. I haven't got a clue. I don't know the name of my YouTube channel, and I don't know what I'm doing here talking to a camera. But what I did a couple of weeks ago was I put all my money into investment banking and stocks and shares, and I wanted to document that journey. I own a lot of photography and video equipment, and I feel like I know and I'm learning a lot about this investment thing and I just wanted to document where I am now and where it's gonna go and hopefully share that with a lot of people. So it's January 16th now and I put all my money into different funds and things on January the 1st. Um, for the longest while I've had uh, my savings and I've always saved sort of £10,000-ish and then spent it on a car or a house deposit and now I've got quite a bit of savings put in. I mean it might not be a lot of savings to some people but to me it's quite a lot. It's uh, my life savings or at least what I've got left over and I wanted to do something with it. Up until now it's been in the premium bonds and that's a great little thing. Uh, you get 25 quid uh, if you win on, on the lottery every month and you've got the chance of winning a million, which would be lovely. But at the start of this year, I went to the uh, earnings of it and I had a look and I realized it made something like 0.6%. And I was thinking, that's bad, that's bad. And the savings ices are pretty bad as well. So I needed to find something else. And a mate of mine said, well, I've got some money and I'm putting it into uh, stocks and shares. And I thought, well, okay, tell me about it. So he told me about it and I had a look and I had a look at the platform and, and things like that. And I went, okay, let's do it. So what I've started using is the Hargreaves and Lansdowne app. Um, it's quite a nice little app. Um, it tells you it's got a lot of information, particularly about UK stocks and UK funds. The fees are a little bit high. Um, I don't know for sure if all my money is going to stay in there forever at the moment. And as you can see on this graphic, uh, you can see that I've got about nine grand in there. And in two weeks, it's made about eight pound. Uh, that's already a quarter of what I would have earned in premium bonds. So it's doing okay. Uh, I can't see it staying like that. As I've learned quite recently, the market goes up and down and it's never always going to be great but in the long run it's supposed to always go up and i'll go into stuff like that in the future what you'll also notice is there is only nine thousand pounds in the hargreaves and lansdowne account because i put a thousand pounds into the trading 212 app now that's for me just to figure out what the market does and makes me learn a little bit more about companies it actually all started on the night of the election. Um, I, I'm, I was pro NHS and anti Boris Johnson and all that. And the moment I could see he was going to win, I had a look around and I saw, well, it was advertised to me on Facebook. So I downloaded the app and I found all the most evil companies I could and just put a couple of quid on each one. And I think I made like 200 quid in a night. It was freaking amazing. But what I did was take it all out immediately because uh, I made about 200 quid uh, and I was going, oh, fuck, uh, I've got I've got shit tones of money here. Um, quick, 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 sell and get out, get out, get out. And that was my first sort of in, uh, introduction to investing and uh, that was fucking stupid because I've made a couple of decisions uh, now which probably aren't a good idea, uh, so I'm going to have to move them around. For instance, I've got shares in Beyond Meat, and as you'll see, um, I've started to make a lot of money on that. That's been at sort of plus 150, and it's now down to 52 because it's had a bit of a correction, and I'm starting to brick it there because like, the only money that's actually in that Beyond Meat is, the, is its value. And while it's spiked because of McDonald's, like, um, releasing its uh, releasing a new trial on its burger, it's really not making profit yet, so it's not actually going to give me anything other than its value. It's the same with GW Pharmaceuticals. I really like this company. I know a lot about their CBD product. I like CBD, but you've got to weigh up the risk 
and I'm probably going to get rid of these two shares soon. They're just not good enough um, and they're not going to pay me any money. I've also got Serco in there. Serco are a mega evil company. God, them guys are fucking evil. They're going through all sorts of court cases now for fraud and all sorts. But they're slowly creeping back up and there's talk of them giving dividends again. So, And I know a lot about Serco and G4S and things like that. I work a lot with their companies and I know how they operate. I know they ain't going nowhere because the Tories are all well invested in these companies because they're evil as fuck. And they are doing really well. So G4S, Serco, pharmaceutical companies, they are all Tory backed and they're going to they're gonna continue to go up, no problem. Uh, so when the Serco dividend comes back, I'm hoping that's going to be a good one. There's a couple in there that, yeah, they might do okay. Um, just, co just companies that I kind of like, but I know they're going to start giving out dividends soon. For me, I've just got this £1,000 in there at the moment because I'm waiting for my first dividend. Once that comes in and I know trading 212 is up to its word, then I'll probably start to look a little bit more towards the dividend investing side of things. We'll see, I'm not 100% convinced and it seems like a bit of a fad at the moment. Particularly, there's there's all sorts of stuff coming. There's gonna be a crash and and stuff. I could lose all my money tomorrow. If the stock market crashes tomorrow, then I'll be quids in really because I'll lose a lot of money now, but over over time, it'll all come back. So that's where I'm at. I don't know where it's going to go. We'll see what happens. Until the next video.